Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. Fonnie Willis wins her primary to go on to the general election to be the continue to be the DA of uh, Fulton County. She does not deserve his job. She really doesn't. And let's talk about it. So there are two uh, um, cases going on in, in, in Fulton County that are of, of significance. There are two rec I mean, not RICO, they're not racketeering, there are two RICO cases. One involves a rapper slash gang leader slash drug dealer, YSL. The other one involves President Trump. The case with YSL has been going on for a while and it's been a dumpster fire. If you have time, go and look up the YSL case and start looking at some of the coverage of that and look at how the prosecutor there, one of the, the prosecutors in our office is, is handling that case. And you will see how that is a image of how Fannie Willis acts when she came into that court with, uh, with the judge there in the uh, Donald Trump case. There is an investigator within that YSL case that was trying to have sex with one of the witnesses in the YSL case within Fannie Willis's office. While that is going on in the YSL case, Fannie Willis is over here having sex with a prosecutor that she brought on, which was uh, Mr. Wade, who happened to be married with children. Both of those were going on at the same time within her office. Everybody knows about it there. The voters know about it, yet they still voted to allow this woman to keep her job. There's a situation in the jails there that is just, just horrific. Research that for yourself and see how horrific that is. You think Fonnie Willis is doing anything about that? Absolutely not. Federal dollars flowed into Fulton County from the federal government, your tax dollars. Do you think those tax dollars went where they were supposed to go, which was to help the youth in the community to have a place to go to keep them out of getting involved in crime? No, it went to Nathan Wade's pocket. It went for her to travel around the world and enhance and enrich in herself. Having fun with Nathan Wade. And who do we have to blame for that? We have one, we have the black church, the AME church there in Fulton County, who allowed this woman, Fonnie Willis, to come into their church, stand in their pulpit, and proclaim that she's doing God's work. And they're coming after her because she's a black female. No, they're coming after you because you are not doing your job. And that's the problem we have within the black community. When we get caught doing something that's wrong, we always pull the race card. Oh, the white man's coming after me because I'm black and I'm a female or I'm a male. No, they're coming after you because you're not doing your job. And it's always the high profile black people that are end up doing wrong. They always put the black people out there to do the worst. And then we act the worst and then run to the church and say, oh, save me. After everything that came out about Fonnie Willis, that black AME church there in Fulton County, they stood on the front stoop steps of that church and said, we endorse Fonnie Willis to continue doing her job. So not only is the church standing with her in her sin, they don't seem to have a problem with it. They think she's doing a great job because she comes in there and she says the right thing. I will simply say, you get what you vote for. If this is what you vote for, this is what you're going to get. If you expected your crime situation to get better, it is not if you keep her in power. They had a, uh, a gentleman there. He was another. Uh, he was another black guy. He was running. He only got like 13% of the vote. She got like 70 some percent of the vote at the time they, they did the count. It wasn't 100% yet. You get what you deserve. Whatever you vote for and whatever falls from that tree is what you deserve. If, you, if you're willing to vote for her with all that she's done, with all the baggage that she brings with her, you reap what you sow. I don't feel sorry for you because you are voting based on color and gender. 
versus on qualifications to do the job and doing the job. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Please like the video. Please share the video. And please subscribe to the Retired Vet Show for future content. God bless you all. Stay safe.